Prithvi's complaint to Lord Vishnu. Long, long ago, Prithvi, Mother Earth, was troubled by the sinful act of demons and evil forces. Deathyas, demons, caused mayhem, violence, and destruction everywhere. Prithvi went to Mount Sumeru to ask Lord Brahma for help. She cried out, Evil Kansa, son of Ugrasen, is causing havoc on earth. He has joined evil demon king Arishta, Dhenuka, Kishi, Pralamba, Naraka, Sunda, and Vana to destroy me. Please save me. Lord Brahma heeded to her plea and prayed with her to Lord Vishnu at the north shore of the mighty ocean. Lord Vishnu heard their prayers. He appeared before them and said, Do not fear, O Prithvi, I will destroy Kansa. Two strands of my hair will be born on earth as Krishna and his elder brother Sankarshana Balram. They both will kill the demon king and the other evil forces. Prithvi was overjoyed to hear this and profusely thanked Lord Vishnu. Kansa hears the warning. Kansa was an evil demon king of city Mathura. Though Kansa was very cruel yet, he loved his sister Devki a lot. Devki was married to Vasudeva, the eldest son of Shursen. Kansa loved her so dearly that he himself drove the wedding chariot of the couple. Just then, he heard a prophecy from the sky. Foolish Kansa, do you know whose chariot you are driving? The eighth son born to Vasudeva and Devki shall kill you. Kansa was furious. He stopped the chariot at once and took out his sword from the sheet. He charged ahead to kill Devki but Vasudeva rushed to save her. Do not kill my wife, O Kansa, he said. If you spare the life of my wife, I will give you all our children. You can then do what you must to protect your life. Kansa withdrew upon hearing this. He put Devki and Vasudeva in prison on the condition that they would give him all their children. The Seventh Son Narad was a divine sage who loved to create trouble. One day, Narad visited Kansa and said, O oh Kansa, you have extended a warm welcome to me. In return, I shall help you. Beware of the Eighth Son of Devki and Vasudeva. He is the reincarnation of Lord Vishnu and he shall kill you. Kansa roared with laughter and said, Such is my power that I can kill a god if I wish to. I have already put Devgi and Vasudeva in prison. I will kill any child born to them. Cruel Kansa killed six of the couple's children. Devki and Vasudev could do nothing but lament on their loss. When the seventh child was about to be born, Devki was deeply upset, but Lord Vishnu sent a solution. Vasudeva's second wife, Rohini, lived in Gokul. The seventh son was sent to her womb by Lord Vishnu. Thus, he was saved from the evil Kansa. The seventh son was named Sankarshana following his birth. Devki's Despair Though the seventh son was safe yet, Devki and Vasudev felt grief for the loss of their six children. How can I bear to see another child being killed by Kansa? Our seventh son is safe. It is our eighth son that I am fearful for now. Lord Vishnu himself is to be born to us. But if evil Kansa finds out about Lord Vishnu's birth, he will not spare him. How can I bear the pain of losing my beloved son? said a depressing Devki. Lord Vishnu suddenly appeared in the prison cell. His radiant form lit up the cell. Do not fear anything. Do not grieve. For your loss is soon to be avenged. I will be coming to save the people of Mathura from the evil clutches of Kansa. I will be born as your eighth child to rescue you from evil Kansa. Lord Vishnu observed. He then told them how he would do so. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.